we've been working literally seven days a week. It's been a long four months as marinas try to repair what a snowstorm destroyed in time for the holiday weekend. An Ohio zoo shoots and kills a gorilla after a little boy climbs into the exhibit. The right choice was made. It was a difficult choice. Why the zoo says they had to kill the gorilla. And hundreds of cyclists are riding through central Kentucky this weekend. How they're remembering a fellow cyclist who was hit and killed a year ago during the event. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening. It's feeling more like the 4th of July holiday weekend than Memorial Day. Thanks for staying up with WKYT. I'm Sean Moody in for Kristen Kennedy. We are tracking more summer like weather for the long weekend. We begin with meteorologist Jim Caldwell and your no wait weather forecast. And this is what you want. It's the unofficial beginning of summer, so you want to track uh, showers, thunderstorms, and warm weather because that's what summer has. Maybe not the shower and thunderstorm part. Maybe that's the part you want to leave out. Out there tonight, we're pretty quiet. Just uh, some cloud cover moving through the sky. Across central into eastern Kentucky. It's actually a little bit thicker. You can see those bright whites showing up uh, out across parts of the mountains. Right now, we're sitting at 69 degrees in Lexington, 70 into Richmond. You've got some uh, more low and mid 70s all throughout parts of uh, eastern Kentucky. Look at Jackson, 74 degrees there. We're in an 11 o'clock hour tonight. It is Memorial Day weekend, and uh, as we move forward, we are going to be tracking more chances of showers and thunderstorms. As we get into your Sunday, I think we'll be up to around 83. Degrees. Now, here's the thing about Sunday. I think it's going to be our best opportunity to run in to showers and thunderstorms. And then we get into your Monday because of what happens tomorrow. I think it clears some of the moisture up for us, so it makes for a better actual Memorial Day. So, a small chance, so better chances to stay dry. But the chances keep coming in that seven day. I'll break them all down coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Jim, thank you. They've been working for months to get ready for this weekend. Lee's Ford Marina in Pulaski County suffered millions of dollars worth of damage when January snowfall caused a lot of the roof covered boat docks to collapse. Crews were still working on repairs when we checked in on them earlier this week. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner takes a look at the progress in our top story at 11. It's, it's a really nice, really nice docks. A lot has changed in recent months at Lee's Ford Marina after some unexpected events back in January. You get snow every year, but it seems like this, this time it was just all at one time. We just got a big snowstorm all at one time, and it just, it just pretty much sunk all the docks. Snowfall brought down nearly every roof-covered dock. It hurt for everyone. It hurt for everyone that had a boat down here because it was just sad to watch. There were so many losses. We first we had to decide what to build back, how to build it back. Four million dollars and four months later, Marina owner JD Hamilton can say things are almost back to normal and just in the nick of time. We've been working literally seven days a week. I mean, Mother's Day, Sundays, you know, Saturdays, everything till dark. Three acres worth of new docks opened at the marina just a few days ahead of Memorial Day weekend. So yeah, it's a lot of relief and, it, and then we look at the product. I'm just extremely pleased with what we have. I think the layout is really, really nice. Boaters say they're just happy to be doing what they enjoy most. Just, just being here on the lake. We love Lake Cumberland. In Pulaski County, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Hamilton tells us some boaters won't be out in the water this year due to the damage. We're tracking a developing story out of southern Ohio tonight. The Cincinnati Zoo's director says security officers have killed a 17 year old gorilla that grabbed a small boy that fell into the exhibit this afternoon. The director says a four year old boy crawled under a barrier and into the exhibit. He says the gorilla climbed down and picked the boy up. That boy is expected to be okay. Police initially said the gorilla was tranquilized, but they said they later made the decision to kill the gorilla to save the boy's life. The reason that tranquilizing was not chosen is in an agitated situation, which the male was, uh, it may take quite a while for a tranquilizer to take effect, but certainly at the instant he would be hit, he would have a dramatic response. You don't hit it and he falls over. I mean, you, you know, it would take a few minutes. Um, so that was eliminated as a, be as a best option. The zoo will be open on Sunday, but Gorilla World will be closed until further notice. We have an update tonight on a Lexington family involved in a deadly crash last weekend in East Texas. Vivian Avalar says her 11 year old sister, who was seriously injured in that crash, has now been transferred to Kentucky Children's Hospital. 
The two of them arrived in Lexington this afternoon. Vivian says her mother, who was also injured, is expected to be flown to Cardinal Hill in a few days. Now, Vivian's father, Israel, and three brothers, Kevin, Daniel, and Matthew, were all killed in that crash. Her grandmother was also involved. She is going through rehab in Tyler, Texas, for the next six weeks. Hundreds of cyclists are pedaling through central Kentucky this weekend. The 39th annual Horsey 100 got started this morning in Georgetown. That two-day bike ride is full of emotion for cyclists this year. The event ended in tragedy last year when cyclist Mark Hinkle was hit by a truck and killed. Cyclists can stop by the site where Hinkle was killed and pay their respects at a memorial honoring him. His friends say that knowing that Hinkle is looking down on them will help them make it through this ride. The two of us were finishing up the ride. We've got a lot of, a lot of happy memories, a lot of uh, funny stories to share that uh, we're going to reflect on. Now, hoping to prevent any tragedies this year, police officers are covering every part of the course, which crosses through five counties in central Kentucky. And there are large electronic signs throughout the course now telling drivers to look out for cyclists. A bittersweet graduation day for Transylvania University students. Hundreds of them showed up for this year's graduation, including the parents of a student who died just weeks before her big day. Katie Stewart died in March after she fell off an overlook while hiking at one of the trails at Raven Run Sanctuary. This morning, the school honored Katie by giving her parents her degree. And commencement speaker Mayor Jim Gray shared his own stories about Katie. I knew Katie as a barista down at Cup of Commonwealth just off of Short Street. And her friends there, her colleagues there, described her just this morning as bubbly and vivacious and full of life. Katie's family also received a standing ovation from the crowd. 270 students graduated in today's ceremony. Police in Henderson County have arrested a man accused of destroying Memorial Day crosses at a park. Police said they used security video to track down 27-year-old Anthony Burris. They say he drove his Ford Thunderbird over 50 crosses in Henderson Central Park. You can see those crosses there on the screen. Police said they found pieces of those crosses in the man's tires. Each of those crosses was valued at $100. Burris is charged with criminal mischief and leaving the scene of an accident. A woman charged in connection to a deadly hit and run has been indicted by a Bullock County grand jury. 22-year-old Emily Hickey is charged with murder and leaving the scene of an accident. Investigators say a homeowner on Kentucky 44 found a moped in their yard earlier this month. The driver, 29-year-old Walter Barry Bergens, was found in a nearby ditch. Investigators say Hickey told them she had hit a deer that night on Interstate 65, and that's why her car was damaged. New tonight, thousands of people who receive health insurance from Kentucky's Medicaid program will likely not have to pay monthly premiums under Governor Matt Bevin's reforms, but they could have reduced benefits. Kentucky Medicaid Commissioner says they do not plan to include premiums as part of its application to the federal government to overhaul the state's Medicaid program. The governor has said before that he supports the idea of recipients paying the premiums, but the commissioner says the U.S. may not approve that plan. We've got more information about that program right now on WKYT.com. Eastern Kentucky University has announced that it plans to close its Somerset campus this summer. EKU has had a small office in Somerset since 2011. According to our news partners at the Lexington Herald Leader, the school will close that office on June 30th because of state budget cuts. EKU is currently offering one class in Somerset, which is scheduled to finish in June. There were no other classes scheduled for the summer. Coming up on WKYT News at 11, the Powell County Search and Rescue Team is no longer searching for a place to call home. At Frank Shoup, we use market-based pricing, which means we scan literally hundreds of other dealers' websites and then price our inventory below other stores. No inflated prices here. You get the best price right up front at Frank Shoup in Georgetown. Watch Kentucky Field Sundays on WKYT and CW Lexington. Being there. Day in, day out. That's loyalty. And it's worth something. Like savings on AAA auto insurance. Just for being loyal. Insurance that's not just insurance. Who says mornings can't be happy? Not us. 
Introducing the DQ Hardest Working Happy Hour with drinks that work even harder than you do, blending sweet flavors like never before. Only DQ has drinks that multitask in the morning even if you can't, like $2 premium fruit smoothies, $2 ultimate frappes, and $1 iced coffees. Every weekday morning until 10.30 a.m. at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. I used to feel anxious and confused about buying a major appliance. Turns out she suffered from FOBO. Until I found HH Greg. Then my fear of not getting the best price, it just disappeared. That's what we do. Get all the options you want during HH Greg's Memorial Day sale. Up to 35% off store wide, plus zero interest until 2019, and free delivery. All with our low price guarantee. HH Greg. Greg's got it. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend to the public for our huge Memorial Day mattress sale. Get quality name brand mattresses at incredibly low prices this weekend. Get free delivery on most models. And take advantage of huge discounts like this Ristonic Queen set for only $248. LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Well, there's a big name in cars that we all know. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shop Frank Shoop in Georgetown for your next vehicle. Bring on the competition. Frank Shoop is going to set the pace. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. Now, your hour by hour forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell. And here we are in the uh, beginning of a holiday weekend. Today was the first day of it. You got Sunday and Monday to continue this uh, along the way. Chances of showers and thunderstorms are going to be with us uh, throughout the duration. But the thing is, we're actually going to run to a period where the chances are a little bit lower. Let's look to the outside right now. 69 degrees here in Lexington, humidity up to 75%. So when you walk outside, you're really going to feel it. I mean, it's going to just smack you in the face. The air is very, very thick and will continue to trend that way through the overnight. And that's just where we're going over the next several days here with more levels of humidity. Other places across southern and eastern Kentucky will find low and mid 70s out there. Somerset, 72. Jackson, 74. You go into Moorhead, they're at 72 degrees right now. So a lot of warmth out there, especially for the 11 o'clock hour at night. Cloud cover has been uh, drifting in and out of the skies for some of us. There might be a brief period where you see, oh, there's the stars. And then you get a little more cloud cover shifting in, especially across eastern Kentucky. We had a pipeline of moisture that rode along I-65 for much of the day. Even those showers are coming to an end. We expand our view, and you can see there's a much larger system and a lot more moisture out there working closer and closer to us. You can see some of the showers and thunderstorms getting into Illinois and all the way back into Missouri as well. Now, this system will push toward us as we get into tomorrow and will ignite some showers and thunderstorms. But the thing is, it's a front, but it's one that's not going to live here very long. We want one that would come in, kind of sweep things uh, out of the area and clean us up. Not going to happen with this one. Also, just off the coast, we're tracking Tropical Storm Bonnie. And what we're going to see from this, we're not going to see the direct impacts of showers or thunderstorms or even getting in on some of the rain in general. The cloud cover, though, will start spreading in. As a matter of fact, some of it already showing up across parts of eastern Kentucky tonight. So that's going to be the only issue we run into from that. So as we head out tomorrow, showers and storms likely, but I'm still doing a pool forecast because it's not going to be a complete washout for you. We're at 83 degrees for a high, so in between showers and thunderstorms. Looking pretty good out there. But if you hear the thunder, you want to get to indoors as quickly as possible. Or as it goes, when you hear a thunder roar, go indoors. Hour by hour forecast shower thunderstorms. You can see them ignited by that front as it gets into the area for your Sunday. It's here for a little while and then it's going to check back up as we get into your Monday. Monday looks to be the driest day of our, maybe the entire seven day forecast, but certainly for the holiday weekend. But we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, small chances of rain. Also hanging around here as well. So, point is for tomorrow, not a washout. If you've got some plans, go out there and do them, whatever mm -hmm. they might be. But just be prepared to go in yeah. if you have to. Never know when you have to like pop in and out and it's let that of, stuff pass on through. It's one of those setups. Yeah. Yep, sure. Thanks, Jimmy. The Powell County Search and Rescue team now has a place to call home tonight. The team is using a red train caboose off the slate exit of the Mountain Parkway as their new headquarters. Volunteer Lisa Johnson says that location is good for tourism and it helps the team do their job. So we're right here now where we can move. We're 
it gives us maybe 20, 30 minutes, but 20 and 30 minutes is a long time when you're lost up there. That's like a day for some people. Johnson says the next step is to paint that caboose. She says the county tourism board donated the paint and they will use it soon. Lexington High School is with a dominant showing at the state track meet, but which school walked away with the state championship? It's shocking to see, but it's a lesson to save their young lives. You cannot put a price on the life-saving lessons that they've learned. Learning to survive, Monday at 6 on WKYT. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. A season pass to Kentucky Kingdom is only $59.95. And with benefits like free parking and dollar drinks, a season pass pays for itself in just one visit. And enjoy the rest of the summer for free. Visit KentuckyKingdom.com or your local Kroger. Ten days left. This Memorial Day weekend, visit Suff's Furniture and Oriental Rugs Estate Sale. Suff's will liquidate 50 to 75% of our inventory as part of the estate sale of Albert Sandy Suffoletta. All of our inventory in Georgetown must be sold at great savings before this location is sold. But you can save at both the Georgetown and Nicholasville locations. Plus, every night, both stores will be restocked from our warehouses until everything is sold. Our Georgetown store will be sold, but we will continue to serve you at Suff's on Nicholasville Road. Hurry for the best selection of fine furniture at Suff's Estate Inventory Sale. Folks have been taking this short drive to satisfaction for over 20 years. Not only Winchester folks, but folks all across the state and even across the country. And who wouldn't come here with over 2,500 vehicles to choose from here in Winchester, Kentucky? No matter if it's 100 miles or the short drive from Lexington, our staff will help you start your journey. Tim Short Chevrolet. Looking for the perfect concealed carry firearm? Come check out Smith & Wesson at Bud's Gun Shop and Range, Kentucky's largest firearm store for huge selection and great prices on shields, M&Ps, J-frames, and many more. Located on Industry Road behind Eastland Shopping Center. most anticipated coaster storm chaser our fifth coaster only at kentucky kingdom because all that really matters is the thrill coming up on this edition of wkyt game time records held by olympians falling at the state track meet and a future wildcat trying to add to his already impressive resume not much impressive lately for the Reds, but could some ninth inning luck help keep the losing streak from reaching a dozen? Plus, the Cats chasing titles in tennis and golf. All that's next on WKYT Game Time. Good evening. It is graduation weekend for Lexington area high schools. That means for the class of 2016, guys like future Wildcat Landed Young of Lafayette, today is the first day of the rest of their lives. But before they embark on changing the world, the chance for a few of them to win a state championship in track and field. Quite a senior year it was for Young. Played in a state title game in football. Won a state title in wrestling. Tonight a chance for two more in discus and shot put. Said he didn't enroll early at UK because he wanted some rings. But tonight upset in the shot put by Scott County freshman Brian Hudson. Young on his way to play on the O-line of course at UK. Hudson has a scholarship offer to do the same. In the discus, same two guys, round two, Young on his final throw, uncorks a whopper. So this time it's a silver for Hudson and the gold for Young that he waited for throws it 177 feet, seven inches. Even coming out here and uh, taking second place, it was worth it so much above just graduating early. Just because you get to experience these things, you get to hang out with these guys that are out here that, you know, if I would have rolled early, I never would have. But it's just being able to finish your high school career, enjoy it all because the next four years they're going to own you. You know, you got to be able to do it. You only get high school once. Later in the 3A meet, just more great performances from schools in our area. 
In the high jump, reigning state champ Jaron Brooks from Henry Clay does it again, winning the title with a jump of six feet ten inches. Missed on an attempt to go seven feet three. Now he's gone over seven feet before. One of the best in the country at this. He sweeps the jumping events. Went the triple jump, long jump, swept him last year on the way to a Henry Clay State Championship. Does it again this year on the way to a Henry Clay State Championship, second year in a row. Blue Devils get it done. Dunbar finishing a close second. The Bulldogs. Will Allen swept the sprints, winning the 100, 200, and 400 in his time of 10.42 in the 100, breaks the state record held by world champion Tyson Gay. Allen also part of Dunbar's winning 4x400 team behind Henry Clay and Dunbar Tate's Creek finishing third. Earlier this morning was the smaller schools, the 1A state meet. This is the boys' 4x800 relay. The guys taking the last turn and heading for home. It was... St. Henry that would win this race, but Lexington Christian would take third place. That was big. Also this morning, Mr. Basketball from this last year, Owen County's Carson Williams winning a gold medal in the high jump. He'll play hoops at Northern Kentucky next year. Wins today at a height of six foot two, but it was LCA who would score just a single point in the final event in that one point so big because it's good enough to win the boys overall 1A team title for Lexington Christian. Keeping with the track theme, former UK star Kendra Harrison in her first year running professionally today at the Prefontaine Classic, she sets the new American record in the 100 hurdles, 12.24 seconds, just three one hundredths of a second off the world record. Well, the duo of Mami Adichi and Aldelia Sujade in the round of 16 in the NCAA Tennis Women's Doubles Championship for Kentucky. UK has never won a national title in doubles and haven't been this far in the tournament since 2003, but Adache Sujade have been ranked among the top doubles teams in college tennis all season. Today, the number two seed in the tournament taking on the number seven seed in UCLA, that's UK in the white in the near court, did not start well. In fact, terrible start. Six love dropping the first set. Now, they rallied after dropping the first set in both their previous tournament wins this week, but no such luck today. They're sent home. Six love, six two, but neither of these young ladies is a senior. They could be back down the line. Kentucky men's golf of the NCAA championships top 15 advanced to play Monday out of the 30 team field and right now Kentucky right on that line Vanderbilt leading but you can see UK actually in a tie for 15th as they head into tomorrow the final of that opening 54 holes Louisville also just above the cut line so Kentucky will try to keep it going. Now the tour players, they're down in Texas. Jordan Spieth, he actually won a collegiate national championship in his one year playing in college. That was in Texas. This is in Texas, and Spieth is winning here too. Best putter on the planet, arguably. Didn't have much need for the putter at times. Today, chips in there. Then with the gap wedge, we'll back this one up and just about hole out again. Speed shoots a 65. He is at 12 under par, leads by one stroke. Final round tomorrow of the Colonial right here on KYT. Still to come, the Reds have tried everything to get a win. So how about a little good fortune in the ninth inning? Maybe that could stop the losing streak, the longest one in Major League Baseball. WKYT's Game Time is brought to you by Frank Shoup, Chevy, Buick, Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. And by Cardinal, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac. At Frank Shoup, we use market-based pricing, which means we scan literally hundreds of other dealers' websites and then price our inventory below other stores. No inflated prices here. You get the best price right up front at Frank Shoup in Georgetown. This new Sonic Lemonade is great, huh? Strawberry, blue raspberry. I can't believe they set that lemonade stand up right across the street. Who is? Oh, she saw me. Great. Why does that matter? Because I'm scoping out the competition for Sonic. Those cute little kids selling lemonade. What's oh, the big deal? Real cute until they take your lemonade stand by force. That was your lemonade stand? Yeah, feels like yesterday they did it. When did it happen? Yesterday. Iced or frozen, our ultimate lemonades can't be beat. Also, get half price shakes after 8 p.m. and a free slush when you download the new Sonic app. They say that in life, we shouldn't sweat the small stuff. But when you're building a Mercedes-Benz, there really is no small stuff. Every decision, every component, is an integral part of what makes the 2016 C-Class one of our most sophisticated cars ever. 
Because when you're setting a new benchmark for refinement, it is the small stuff that makes the biggest impression. The 2016 C-Class. Lease the C300 for $359 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Value City Furniture presents how to know when it's time. First, look for a sign that it's time to buy new furniture. Any sign? At all. Then, follow the signs to the Memorial Day sale at Value City Furniture. Hurry in for free delivery, plus 48 months no interest financing when you spend $19.99 and up. Perfect. And that's how to buy the perfect piece at Value City Furniture. Experience for yourself the fun and excitement of the Kentucky Splash Water Park in Williamsburg, Kentucky. Enjoy our 18,000 square foot wave pool, Lazy River, or any of our exciting slides for only $10. Kentucky Splash Water Park off I-75 in Williamsburg. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Push alerts, now available on the WKYT News app. Well, there's a big name in cars that we all know. Frank Shoop, Frank Shoop, Frank Shoop, Shoop. Frank Shoop in Georgetown for your next vehicle. Bring on the competition. Frank Shoop is going to set the pace. Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $35 million. This will be the first year for a two-week state baseball tournament, but while the schedule changes for teams that make it to state, the path to get there remains the same. And that means for the schools that survive district tournaments, the next step begins on Memorial Day. Region tournaments starting Monday, the 11th region this year at Lafayette. It's Madison Central and Lexington Catholic in the opener, 11 a.m., followed by Scott County and Franklin County at 1.30. There's the host in Henry Clay at 5 o'clock and Madison Southern and Western Hills in the nightcap at 8 o'clock. Lafayette's turn to play hosts nothing worse than getting sent home only to have to watch everybody else show up and play at your yard. But the Generals came out and won the 43rd District Tournament. Didn't have to worry about that. And that despite coming in losing four in a row in seven of their previous nine. Finally, when we could get a little momentum going, you saw what happened. That's just playoff baseball. You get the you get the bounces, hits off a helmet, goes sideways. You get the guy to third base. Got a what? Got a pass ball. I mean, those those things happen when pressure comes. You know, next week they'll make the plays. This week we made them. So it's 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 good time for uh, playoff baseball. It feels good for the final go round to be at home. This it would have been bad if we didn't make it and had to host it without playing. But I'm glad we're in it and glad we're playing. That's definitely exciting. I'm going to try and. You know, hopefully get as far as we can and maybe get another ring instead of not winning that other one. <laughs> Here's a look at the 11th region softball bracket. Games played at Madison Central this year. That also begins Monday. It's the host school taking on Lafayette. First game, 10 a.m. Then Woodford County, Henry Clay, set to get started at noon. Scott County, one of the state's top-rated teams in softball. They face Western Hills at 2 o'clock Monday. And Dunbar will take on Madison Southern at four. Semifinals are Tuesday beginning at 6. Finals Wednesday at 7 o'clock. The losing streak at 11 games for the Reds entering today in Milwaukee. Down 6-1 coming into the seventh, but Adam Duvall that is a three-run home run, and it's a five-run inning for the Reds to tie it up. Stays tied into the ninth. Base is loaded. Duvall again. You could not hit into a more routine 6-4-3 double play, except the four part. Scooter Jeanette never touched the base. They cleared the teams from the field, then went to the replay and overturned the call. Count the run. Reds take a 7-6 lead, and in the bottom of the inning, hey, the bullpen didn't blow it. The losing streak snapped before it reaches a dozen. Same two teams play again tomorrow afternoon. Legends got rained out on Friday in Hagerstown, Maryland. Played two today, one game one, eight to one shutout in game two. They are back home on Monday night. Coming up, how the West was won. The Thunder with a chance to close out the Warriors in the conference final and head to the NBA Finals.
If you had the Assure permanent birth control device implanted by your doctor and have suffered complications, you may be owed damages. This is a time-sensitive issue, and we want to make sure you get all you deserve. Call the Becker Law Office for a free evaluation. Oak Factory is the place to be for Memorial Day specials. Zero money down, 0% financing for 48 months. Bedrooms and mattresses, over 25 in stock. Upholstery and leather with two-week delivery. Dining, what a selection. Zero money down, 0% financing for 48 months. And if you don't need financing, then Oak Factory will give you big cash discounts. 48 months free financing or big cash discounts. Your choice at Oak Factory. What famous American has covered more territory than any other? Hint, it's not a person. One drive and you'll discover why Jeep is the most awarded, best-selling SUV brand. Celebrate 75 years of endless adventure today at the Jeep Memorial Day sales event and get $500 bonus cash on 2016 Jeep Cherokee vehicles. During the Memorial Day event, returning FCA lessees get $6,000 total cash allowance on the purchase of a 2016 Cherokee Latitude or Limited. What does your insurance actually do when it's not doing insurance? What if you could get help with more, more often? And you could also plan amazing trips. Save on event tickets or hotel rooms. Even get rescued roadside. You can when you're a member and your insurance is AAA. Insurance that's not just insurance. They were just, I mean, they were like family. I couldn't ask for, for you know, better help than I did get from Becker Law. Serious, experienced results. Call the Becker Law Office, just dial threes. When severe storms roll in, we go to work to keep you and your family safe by calling a First Alert Severe Weather Day. Keeping you on top of the storms with continuous coverage on air, on WKYT.com, and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. Plus an experienced weather team ready to alert you when you need to get out of harm's way. Keeping you safe this severe weather season, that's what we stand for. First alert severe weather days, only on WKYT. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Tragic news from the NBA. New Orleans Pelicans rookie Bryce DeJean Jones shot to death this morning in Texas. According to the police report, the man who claims he pulled the trigger did so because he says DeJean Jones was breaking into his apartment. DeJean Jones was briefly linked to UK in 2014 as a possible graduate transfer, but nothing materialized. Instead, he wound up going from UNLV, transferring to play his final year in college at Iowa State before entering the NBA last season with the Pelicans. Western Conference Finals now. Kevin Durant in the Thunder with a chance to close out the Warriors. Wouldn't that be something? Steven Adams down the lane and the big fella handing out posters early but Steph Curry well there's power and then there's finesse you've seen a little bit of both Curry bringing the ladder the crossover and the jumper but OKC was up at the half in the fourth quarter now Russell Westbrook the jumper and we are tight late in this game the Thunder up by two 101 to 99 of course if the Thunder win it's no more for the Warriors and the team that had the best season regular season in the history of the NBA will be sent home that would set up a Thunder and Cleveland Cavaliers NBA final rematch from a few years ago Kevin Durant against LeBron James we appreciate you sticking with us tonight we will see you again on Sunday on WKYT have a great day.